Wi-Fi Rangers Everest, after a, over a year's wait, is at last shipping. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on a Wi-Fi Ranger and in particular the Converge Everest product, which is uh, their flagship rooftop mounted long range Wi-Fi and integrated cellular receiver. So first off, a little bit about who Wi-Fi Ranger is. Now this company has been serving primarily the RV market for over a decade, focused on, well it's in their name, long range Wi-Fi. But particularly what that means is Wi-Fi is WAN, so connecting to a remote campground, marina, um, other public urban network, whatever, some public Wi-Fi at a long distance, using that as your upstream connection, bringing that connection back, and then resharing that locally so that devices that could never connect to a distant network on their own are able to get connected. So Wi-Fi as WAN has always been Wi-Fi Rangers um, you know, secret sauce special area of expertise and they have done a really good job of that. Probably the, the best out there if you want to connect to a distant network. They have great long-range hardware, particularly their higher-end stuff, and they have done the software work to help get around some of the blocks that you sometimes run into with Wi-Fi as WAN, like login pages and other behind the scenes networking issues. So they focused on Wi-Fi as WAN in the past. And then for well, people don't always want Wi-Fi, sometimes they want to connect via cellular. They've also focused on USB tethering. So using USB ports on their indoor routers to tether to um, cellular devices like hotspots or phones. They actually support tethering to iPhones, which is a really rare feature. They tether to Android phones when they support almost every hotspot out there that supports some sort of tethering. So they've done a really good job with Wi-Fi as WAN, with tethering, and now, well, the new direction is having routers with integrated cellular, not just tethering to another cellular device, particularly you want to have integrated cellular up on the roof. That is more of a new area of focus for Wi-Fi Ranger doing their own cellular integrated devices, particularly with the Converge product line, and is kind of a direction of evolution for them in the future and um, is more of an area of growth, not one of their core areas of expertise just yet. Now this was first previewed all the way back in March 2019, and the Converge product line first shipped then in October uh, 2019 with the lower end Denali and um, Teton options shipping to shipping pretty much immediately, and while well, the, the flagship Everest was supposed to be coming out January 2020. Well, as we all know, 2020 turned into a bit of a tumultuous year. There was a pandemic, there was a lot of manufacturing delays, Wi-Fi Ranger got acquired by Weingart, and all through that time, the Everest was shipping next month, shipping next month, shipping next month. Well, next month is finally here, and Wi-Fi Ranger's flagship is now available. So what's in it, what makes it a flagship, and is it worth considering? Well, the, what sets this apart from the rest of the Wi-Fi Ranger product line is that this is their one rooftop unit that has a dual band Wi-Fi. So it has 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi radios inside of it, um, apparently set up to be powered at the maximum FCC legal limit, and uh, Wi-Fi Ranger is claiming max theoretical Wi-Fi range of 2 miles, assuming you're talking to equivalently powered high-end hardware at the far side over completely clear, unobstructed views. Now, you know, in real-world situations, it will be much, much less for long-range Wi-Fi, but in our experience, Wi-Fi Ranger, as, as far as long-range Wi-Fi goes, has been the best of the best at reaching out and uh, connecting over distance, if Wi-Fi is what matters to you. Um, and now, having the dual-band support is, we think, particularly important because 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi in theoretically is what travels further, but it's a lot slower, and the big problem is every device is using 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, even you know things like microwave ovens and Bluetooth receivers and so many other radios are all using that spectrum. So 2.4 gigahertz, particularly in a crowded campground or marina, is often unusable. So even though the signal can travel far, it is so congested. So more and more places, more and more campgrounds, marinas, other public infrastructure have also invested in 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And if you've got a receiver that can speak 5 gigahertz, even though 5 gigahertz technically doesn't travel as far, in practice, it's often much further, much faster, and a much better option if it's available. And well, only the Everest of Wi-Fi Ranger's roof-mounted units supports 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So we are 
thrilled that there's a, wi a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi option back on the market. It used to exist with a Wi-Fi Rangers um, um, Elite AC. This was their previous generation product lines. When this flagship was discontinued and their old stuff was replaced with the Converge, without the Everest, there was a no 5 gigahertz option, so it made rooftop Wi-Fi really limited. Now, the other thing that you want on your roof is long-range cellular, and you know rather than have the um, cellular antennas on the roof and bring it down to an inside modem. Something like the Everest lets the modems and the antennas be also all in here and Wi-Fi Ranger in the Everest has the option for up to two cellular modems. So you could have um, you know, zero, one, or two optional cellular modems in here to put your cellular connections on the roof too. And what kind of sets the uh, Everest apart from the lower end Wi-Fi Ranger devices is this is the first one to have the option for a category 12 cellular modem. So you can actually have a decently high-end cellular modem option or, you know, or, or actually two modems at once. So the way that works with uh, uh, Everest is um, you know, on top of the $550 base price, you can, for each cellular modem what you want, you can pay $100 additional for a Cat4 low-end cellular modem, $150 for a Cat6 mid-range cellular modem, or $250 for a Cat12 now, decently high range uh, cellular modem, and you can have two of them. There is currently a catch: is that you cannot, you can't, uh, you have to mix and match. You can't have two Cat12 or two, two Cat6 or two Cat4 just because of a software limitation. Theoretically, that will eventually be fixed, but right now you have to maybe do a Cat12 and a Cat6 combo, which is what our review unit here is. So, wow, a lot of electronics on the roof. Um, what about indoors? You know, the Converge um, products like the Everest can work completely standalone. They have a come with a long cable that comes inside and ends with a power port and comes they actually come with uh, cables to wire directly to DC power. You can um you know into an RV or a boat. Or you can optionally add on an AC power brick and or a cigarette jack uh, lighter power adapter for a small additional cost to power to wire this into your power system. But now to bring that data connection inside, you can either let this create a local area Wi-Fi network up on the roof, but then, well, your network's up on the roof and then this radio is doing double duty, or when these products really shine is when they're paired with an indoor uh, Wi-Fi Ranger router. And that's the same cable, comes down over Ethernet, and will plug in to one of these indoor Wi-Fi Rangers, like this is the Spruce, which they sell as a bundled pack with this. Um, so the plug this in, and here is the Aspen, another one of their options for indoors. When you plug them in, they actually work as a unified unit. So the one control panel will let you have control of your Wi-Fi connections on the roof, the cellular connections on the roof, um, any connections you're bringing in via Ethernet or USB tethering to your indoor routers. And if you have an indoor router like the... Um, Aspen here that has built-in cellular, you'd have that connection as well. So you could have a lot of connections available all at once. You could combine them via load balancing um, or pick between them and fail across them and stuff. So a lot of flexibility. That's, um, you know, that's kind of the, the Wi-Fi Ranger way of doing things. You know, upstairs, out, upstairs outdoor router does the long range. Inside handles your local network, all controlled with one user interface. Um, some of the downsides of the way the Wi-Fi Ranger does things is the user interface, the, everything is sort of say dumbed down. It's very simplified so that a lot of powerful features are uh, things that more advanced networking um, challenges might entail are not supported. It's a, a very basic user interface to let you pick your networks, um, connect upstream, and do just a little bit of configuration. So if you want more advanced professional or prosumer level stuff. That's where devices like Pepwave come into play. Um, but a lot of people have been happy with a Wi-Fi Ranger, um, assuming it is reliable and not buggy. And they've had some challenges with their software being buggy in the past. So we're excited to see a flagship Wi-Fi Ranger uh, roof-mounted unit at last back on the market after a very long absence. We have played around with the predecessor to this, the Denali, the mid-tier version of this product line that did not have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi did not have quite as long of range. Um, we've got the, the Spruce indoors and the Aspen indoors. And well, now, now that we finally have an Everest in hand, we're looking forward to playing around with it and uh, um, seeing how well those 
Wi-Fi Ranger do with rooftop cellular? Is their dual band um, next generation, you know, they're claiming this is their best long range Wi-Fi they've ever done. Is this going to compare to the old Elite AC, which was our old former favorite? And well, there's also a lot of other new devices that are on the market, you know, competitive devices like the InstiConnect, which does, doesn't do Wi-Fi, but does cellular on the roof and indoor, you know, kind of the same model with a cellular system up on the roof and a companion indoor router inside. InstiConnect is new to the market. We know there's new uh, router options coming from MoFi. We've got new cellular integrated options that, like the PepWave Max Transit 5G and others. So there's a lot of really interesting hardware that you know, can be the solution to your connectivity problems all coming to market now. And um, well, we're going to be trying to figure out what are the best options and the best trade-offs and the you know, helping people decide what are the best fits for them. Um, you know, guiding our site members to understand these products deeper and sharing our hands-on experiences with, with them. So thank you to our MIAs, our mobile internet aficionados who support us. And with that for them, we share our hands-on experiences in our member areas. So um, thank you guys and come over and join us there to see what we think about using an Everest on a roof. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.